Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I do appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here in the dark. You got here just in time. That's right, it is Friday, and it is time for another edition of Friday's Finds. I'm not exactly sure yet who's sponsoring this edition of Friday's Finds. I've communicated with a lot of people over the last several weeks, so I'm not sure, honestly, what's in this big box that we get to play with. So we're gonna open it up and find out. So we have two boxes. <laughs> it says it's fragile. <laughs> and we're supposed to keep that dry. So we'll start with this one. This is a solar powered light. It's like a parking lot light or a walking the dogs in the backyard on 10 acres light. Is equipped with a remote control. Mounting hardware. All right. Now this is this this is kind of surprising to me. This is the ST150038 from Lovus. It is unique. And I really like this setup because of the configuration. It, you can mount it to the wall, you can mount it to a pole, a post, a pole. Most importantly is you can change the angle so it's not a fixed angle. Uh, it is a 600 watt LED commercial solar street light that provides 15,000 lumens. It's powered by a large capacity LIFEPO 4 battery. Now, I don't know how large that is. Uh, it has a built-in solar panel to recharge it. It takes six to eight hours for a full charge, and you have 18 to 20 hours of light when fully charged. But we don't, I don't know if that 18 to 20 hours is just continuous burn or if that's in a power saving mode option because it has it has several power saving modes it is equipped with a motion detector they call it a radar i think it's an infrared and that the whole light can be controlled with a remote control and the remote control is good up to about 50 feet most likely it's going to be less than that as with most remote controls there are four power saving modes so you can set it so that it comes on and stays on and that's going to use the most power because it's got a photo sensor so it only comes on when it's dark and you can set it so that it'll only come on after dark when the motion detector senses motion and there are three other modes there are, there are three levels level one it comes on at dark, full blast, and stays full blast for two hours, and then switches over to induction mode. We don't know what induction mode is. We're going to figure that out. I think that is like the motion detector. And, so, and with the motion detector, 
the light is on at 30 percent and when the motion detector is activated it goes to 100 percent so you get a low level of light just ambient light and if it senses motion then you get full brightness so level one is two hours full light then switch to induction mode level two is four hours full and then inductions level three is six hours full then induction level four is motion activated and we talked about the motion activated it's at 30 percent and then someone it senses motion and it goes to 100 percent so that's that's the specific information that's the that's the stuff so we'll wait till dark and then play with some light so it's about 9 30 almost 10 o'clock it was pretty dark out here but that makes all the difference in the world that light is awesome now just you, you gotta you get realize that we're about six feet off the ground look seven feet off the ground if that was higher we got a little flickering because of the frame rate on the camera but if this light was higher then it would be throwing out a really good good and now it's just dropped down to the 30 percent and we're going to activate the motion detector and it jumps up to 100 percent so if that was up on a 15 20 foot tall tower Man, that would be throwing out a lot of light. After last night's test, I decided to go ahead and move the street light up. So I've gone up as, as high as I can. It's not exactly straight. Don't hold that against me. It's not a permanent installation. But I wanted to see how much light we get. And so tonight we'll be back out here. Got a little flicker action going on thanks to the frame rate on the camera. We are lit up. All three light panels are doing their thing. We can, now on the camera, you, you're not able, quite able to see the fence, but I can see pretty much the whole backyard. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a heck of a good light panel right there. That's a winner, winner, man. Well, let's see what happens if we go to induction only. So it drops down to 30%. <laughs> and then it goes to 100%. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm happy with that. All right. You can't see me. There we go. I'll check in with you in the morning. Man, that light is incredible. It's just amazing how much light that puts out, considering there's no wires. So that brings us to the end of our video about the, the, the wireless street lights. I hope you found that to be informative, if nothing else, maybe a little entertaining and a little educational. I really think those are a winner, especially if you've got a place where you need light, but you don't want the expense of running wiring and hiring an electrician and all of that. You don't need any of those. You don't need any wiring. You don't need an electrician. You just need somebody that knows how to drive a screw and a ladder. And you're good to go. Loveless wireless streetlights are available on Amazon, of course. And I'll have them in the Friday's Finds playlist on the influencer page. The link will be in the card above and in the description below. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. It really helps. Uh, I, would re I would be most honored. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I wouldn't be able to do what I do and go where I go if it wasn't for y'all. Thank you so much for that. And for my patrons. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?